Anthony, do you practice self-love? That's kind of personal, Molly. What? Ew, no, Anthony, I mean, do you work on self-acceptance, doing things that inspire you, listening to your intuition, following your dreams, eating healthy, treating your body right? Oh, right. Well, as Oscar Wilde once said, to love oneself is the beginning of a lifelong romance. But yes, sometimes I do get busy or stressed, and sure, I might let things slide and I can be a little hard on myself. Well, truly loving yourself is something a lot of us struggle with from time to time, but it's important for your well-being. So in this next story, Halifax's Laura Bain speaks to spiritual coach Anne Berube about the benefits and practice of loving yourself unconditionally. Stop teaching in the Self-love to me is more than just going for a massage or going out with friends for a glass of wine or something like that. It's about bringing that movement of love, so that attention that we give to others towards ourselves. Anne has a few favorite tips on how to nurture a gentle practice of self-love, and I decided to try them out at home. Anne's first tip, as soon as you wake up in bed, take three deep breaths. When we breathe like that, we tell our body that something's about to change. Something um, is about to change and transform. Thank you. Number two, practice gratitude. Thank Try you. saying thank you out loud three times before you get out of bed. Anne says this practice opens you up to the possibilities of a new day. So the expression of gratitude is a beautiful practice that allows more abundance to come into your life. But it also just starts the day with a really good feeling. Number three, take care of your physical body. Start the day with a glass of warm or hot water. When we put cold temperature um, liquids in our bodies, our, our, all of our systems, including our immune system, have to work harder because the body needs to warm itself back up to that ideal temperature. Anne also suggests starting every day with a green smoothie. Here's some things I like to put in mine. I love avocado, so I like to put an avocado in my green smoothies and a little bit of frozen blueberries for some fruit. And whatever greens I have on hand, and right now I have baby arugula, so I'm gonna use some of that. And a little dash of cinnamon for some flavor. Then some nice room temperature water. And then I blend it all up. Number four, ask yourself, how may I serve? What I mean by that is, when I ask a question in my meditation, or even just quietly within when I'm in a conversation with someone and I say, how may I serve? How may I be of service today? How may I be of service in this moment? I'm allowing my gifts to shine. And it sounds like that would be counter to self-love, but what happens is that the opportunities come to you for you to use your gift. And when you use your gifts, you feel fulfilled you feel connected, you feel like you're realizing yourself. Number five, make your last thoughts of the day good ones. So I bring my attention back to my heart, back to my deep breath. Just like I started my day, good things are going to happen. Good things are going to happen. So I just repeat that within myself and then I try to fall asleep with that state. I have to say, Laura's story has given me something to think about. I like the tips about not only taking care of your physical body, but your soul as well. Yeah, I really like the tips about meditating yourself to sleep, listening to your heart, and checking in with yourself throughout the day. If you were inspired by Laura's conversation with Anne Berube, you may want to check out Anne's new book coming out in May entitled Be, Feel, Think, Do, a memoir. Find out more at annberube.com. That's A-N-N-E-B-E-R-U-B-E.com.